Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I want to show you guys a champion that was released a while ago. It's a fusion. And uh, recently, I, I saw a lot of people are actually running that champion on their arena defense. Uh, that is Mother Cybele. I remember like maybe she came out like one or two months ago as a fusion. And uh, back then, it was a lot of people are saying that it was an underwhelming fusion. A lot of people are saying that this champion is below average, but like... Like I said, recently I really saw a lot of people running this champion on their arena defense. Uh, I mean, obviously it's not reset defense, but to see a fusion champion uh, on a platinum arena level defense, it's quite good. So, uh, last couple of days I just decided to give this champion a try, and I think it works out pretty well. So, um, I don't know like the, the, the champion build I'm gonna show you guys, I don't know if it's original or not because Recently, I really don't really watch a lot of raid videos. But anyways, uh, let's very quickly take a look at this champion's kit, and then I'll show you guys the build and uh, showcase and etc. So, her A1 is attack all enemy, chance to place decrease speed. Like, if you want to use this champion in arena, you can just ignore this. This is not gonna hit. So, if you want to use this champion in arena, you don't need to build her with accuracy because this is not gonna happen. Everybody has immunity and uh, this one this is very good skill and uh, Place a revive on death and 60% increased defense on all eyes for two turns six turn cooldowns is very long But you can book it up to three turns, which is really good and Then this interesting stuff swap HP when with an ally and blah 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 I don't want to read it, but it, it just has some very interesting uh, effect and then her passive is when this champion is revived, heal all allies and fill the turn meter. And then she has a very good HP speed, uh, sorry, she has very good speed aura in all battles by 24%. That's why I see a lot of people are running her as arena speed lead. And uh, again, a uh, disclaimer is this video is strict to arena only. This champion is very good in faction wars. If you want to build this champion in faction wars, just put her in a stun set and uh, that's pretty much it. So let's get into the champion build. All right, so let me pull it up and show you guys my build for Mother Cybele. All right, there she is. Um, I geared this champion in a frenzy set. Plus 10% turn meter for every 5% HP loss. So basically the idea is in a arena defense situation, the enemy is gonna go first and they're gonna nuke my entire team. And uh, I only have two reaction pieces for my Knight's Red Faction. So, but like it should be enough for my mother Sabelle to survive any nuke in the game. So after she survived the nuke, with the Frenzy set turn meter increase, she should be able to go first. Like her speed is not that high, right? But again, with Frenzy set and enemy's nuke, she should be able to go first in my team and I'm gonna set up her AI to use A2 first so she's gonna place a revive on death and increase defense on everybody and my team is gonna be so tanky and even if any team member dies they will be revived instantly so that's basically the idea uh, and I just happen to have so many good frenzy set because really not many champions on my account can use Frenzy set and not like literally nobody in Knights Red Faction War can use a uh, reaction set. Maybe, uh, maybe Richter Drave, but besides Richter Drave, I think she is the candidate for reaction pieces. So, yeah, basically, just build her as tanky as possible. You don't need to worry about accuracy. Um, Look at the stats, 73k HP, 51, uh, 5,000 defense, that's really tanky. And uh, obviously I booked her up because make this skill a 3 turn cooldown, it's very important. And uh, let me show you guys the mastery. Like, I know a lot of people are going with um, this one, Bulwark, but I feel like I prefer this one. So. Like I said, it's in an arena defense situation. This champion is very good in defense, but you probably don't need him in offense. So, 
when the enemy do the nuke, if your any of your champion happens to have their HP drop below 25%, this champion is gonna get a turn and place revive on death. So that's another reason that you don't want this champion to be too fast because if you if she goes too fast, let's say this she plays revive on death and increase defense, and then the enemy madame or uh, or Kaimar just removes it. So that's the point. She needs to survive after the nuke and the place and use this A2. So yeah, that's basically the idea. So let's get into the arena. All right, so here I am in Plan Arena. Uh, I'm at rank six right now, and uh, many of these defense are actually not that good because it's middle of the week, right? Uh, let's just try some some of the easy ones with um, Mother Cybele. Like I'm gonna assume this is a defense situation, right? Uh, Put this uh, champion's lead. Then I'm gonna use Duchess. Like one very important thing is, you always want to pair this champion with a reviver. They synergize really well. And maybe put a whatever uh, big mama here, and then just candy phone. This could be a very good team. Like if you want to build a reset defense around this champion, you can also do that. Just replace Kendra phone with Warlord. It will work really well. So let's go in. Uh, going to the fight and see what happens. Again, this champion also has weakness. The biggest weakness is everybody's weakness, which is Warlord. If a Warlord puts his skill on cooldown, then it's over, <laughs> right? That's why Warlord is so good in the current meta. Like you can see, this champion goes first now. I'm just gonna place this on everybody in case anyone dies here. Luckily, nobody died, so I'm just gonna do a nuke. <laughs> I just happen to have a very strong Kendra phone, I guess. Right, I just put it in an auto, and uh, obviously, Candy phone didn't target the right champion. I'm gonna target Arbiter so it doesn't take too long. But the Cardio's revive on death is pretty annoying. Oh, if it's in an arena defense situation, I will never use Kendra Fon's A3. I just always disable it. Alright, just uh, get me out of here. Maybe let me try a tougher defense. Alright, um. Alright, let's try this one. This one should be much tougher. I think I can do this. Wait, A1 Hedgy. Alright. Um, I'm gonna do the A2, I guess. So, like, my team is so tanky right now. I just put it on auto and see how it runs out. See the revive on death, and the one step procs, she just heals everybody and uh, do the terminal boost. That's her passive. Like maybe I shouldn't use Kendra from here because they have a Duchess. I'm gonna weak hit. All right, just uh, finish the fight and get me out of here. with Perry. The meta lives on. Come on, get me out of here. And that's another fight. Alright, so maybe I'll just um, use a cleanser here. Not really a big deal. Let's get into the fight and see what happens.
plans and put defense up. Alright, so the Krisk shield is too big. It's just too big. Maybe I shouldn't use Kandrafon here. I should use a Leoris. Uh, let's put defense up again. My team is really tanky. Do the nuke. All right, that just finally died. <laughs> like this dude is so tanky. And uh, all right. I'm trying to find some squishy teams and see how it goes. All right, let's try this one. This might be a little bit tough, but all right, you know what? Let me just use a Leoris double nuker. Let's go, baby. Make it quick. I'm just gonna put it on full auto. Make it quick. Relentless Hegemon. Really. I'm gonna target Sifi. No! This guy, this guy is so fast. Who is this? I don't know who that is. I forgot. I'm not even getting a turn. Like, what's this guy's speed? All right, can I get a turn here? Boom! All I need is one turn. All right, Maga, you got me. Okay, let's try this one. Double nuker. Let's go again. All right, just finish what you're doing. Let me get my turn. Alright, reaction. Let's put this and full auto. Ooh. My Kendrafa almost one shot himself. <laughs> Look at the damage. That's the power of double nuker. No. No. He's one-shotting everyone. This Rolos is one-shotting everyone. Boom. Alright. Alright, so uh, then let's try this one without reset defense, right? Assume this is a reset defense. Like, you don't really have to use the Ursuga, but you can also, like, use a Hegemon here. This is also a very strong defense. Uh, go like this, obviously. Use a fast Warlord. Mother Sabelle has a very good speed aura, 24%, right? So, alright, let's go with the old way. I'm gonna go like this and just kind of show you guys how this team synergizes. Uh, I'm gonna let them nuke me. It's not, it's not a big deal. They can, they can go first. Uh, I'm not gonna use A3 yet. Let them take a turn. Alright, so still healthy. Then I'm gonna put defense up. 
So basically that's how you do it. And now I don't think this team can kill me. Like my Duchess is very high uh, resistance. And also I have a resistance warlord, right? So this is a way of using a revive champion, a revive on death champion. But like in conclusion, I think this champion is still for low spending players. If you want, if you're really interested in arena and you're low spending, you are it, this champion is definitely worth of your time and resource. Um, it's actually not that gear intensive, but you, if you want to use this champion the way I'm using her, you better get some reaction pieces. Like this doesn't matter. All right, resilience, frenzy, this doesn't matter. Like, but this matters. This reaction stuff. You make sure you don't get one shot, and make sure there's, don't let any warlord go against you. Because if warlord puts your skill to cooldown, it's over. All right, that's why warlord is so tanky, so so OP in the current meta. And uh, if in case you guys are wondering, let me quickly show you guys the gear of my Duchess. So this is the, the Duchess I'm running for my Planet Marina. I don't really push Planet Marina anymore, but I still am very invested in building champions. I'm, I'm really still very interested in building champions. So, a high HP, high defense, and very good resistance. I think I can uh, get her resistance, a, a, a little bit more resistance with 6 star resistance glyph. And then, let me show you guys my Ursuga. I recently just re-geared my Ursuga. I think this is pretty tanky. Look at this. <laughs> Guardian set and Resilience set. But the thing is, I'm having a Resistance Barbarian banner with shitty substats. Look at this triple attack roll. This is garbage for Ursuga. The only reason I'm running this one is because it's reaction. But look at the stats HP and defense, super, super high. It's very impressive, right? And I just realized that, that actually Resilience set. It's very valuable in terms of stats. In terms of uh, stats gain, it's very impressive. This set. So, if you have, if you want to build a very tanky champion, you should put resilience set over immortal set. So, if you want to build Ursuga, put Guardian resilience. If you build Krisk and put uh, Shield set and resilience. It will give you the maximum stats you need. And yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Um, recently, I've been, I regained my interest towards Arena, and I'm studying a lot from my clanmates because I haven't been pushing for a couple months, I would say. And uh, maybe I'm gonna retire my my uh, immunity chimer <laughs> because I don't see many people running immunity chimer anymore in the current meta. For some reason, this is my immunity camo. It's pretty ins impressive, right? But I, I think I will get Reman to very soon. So, I think maybe when I get Reman to, I'm gonna put my Kaimar's gear on Reman to. Uh, I guess that's it for for this video. That's all I want to talk about today, and I'll, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.